my god, look at is it another curl again? Look. Most of the time the curls just hang from my forehead. So it's really weird how it does that, but I think it's actually super funny too. Doesn't matter what I do, my hair parts like this, and then you always have like one curl just hanging down the front. One or two, I think I can't see because it's sunny. Alright, so Jess's friend Andrea is coming over tonight. Jerry's on holidays as of tomorrow. Means that I'll be there basically from morning to early evening every day. And I'm not even joking, guys. I'm working 13 days straight without a day off. 13 days straight. Because when Jerry comes back, my meat manager goes on holidays and I have to stay there till at least Tuesday night to do what is called a counter ready inventory for us. And he's the only one that knows how to do it. So yeah, this is, this is gonna be a day for me where I just try to get as much relaxation as I can, not to overexert myself or do anything insane. But I also don't wanna waste a day just sitting at home doing absolutely nothing, because what's the point? A few things today, I'm waiting for Jess actually to reply because I texted her, because I, when I, before I left her last night, I said, what time do you want me to pick you up? And I was like, I'm hoping that she's like, oh, you can come pick me up early because I don't wanna wait till like two o'clock in the afternoon to pick her up. So she's like, yeah, you can come get me at like 11 or 12, which is perfect. That's actually not bad at all. And then if I straighten up in the meantime while I wait for her, it should be good, it should be good. Gotta show you guys something. So I still like the odd soda, but I don't wanna drink Coke Zero anymore. So now I'm drinking Zevia. It's not bad. It is not bad at all. I wanna completely get away from sugar or any remote sweets at all. But I mean, when you're having dinner, water's okay if you're having a snack. I, I need something with dinner. So this is why I've gone with this. It's not bad. No sugar, no artificial sweeteners, non-GMO certified. This actually, I'm surprised, is actually vegan. So this is vegan certified. Interesting. I didn't even know soda or fake soda could be vegan. So another thing I just realized was that I'm not drinking soda at 10 o'clock in the morning. That's actually soda from last night when I got home and I ate a nice homemade sandwich. And that's my soda from last night. I just, as I was looking at it, I'm like, oh, I should talk about it. And then I watched the clip back and I'm like, oh, okay. People are going to think I'm drinking, well, soda at like 9 or 10 in the morning. And that's not the case. Turn on. Well, this is definitely not the way I want to start my morning. Oh, there we go. Oh, okay. Now it's working. I like these new cups. It's the most wonderful time of the year. Thank you, Sylvana, for the coffee. Or the tea. Not the coffee. The tea. I don't know why I always say coffee. I hate coffee. I don't drink coffee. The only time I'll drink coffee is if Tim Hortons messes up my order, or I mess it up, or there's miscommunication, whatever, and they give me a coffee. That's the only time I'll drink it because I'm not wasteful, so I just want to throw it away. Certainly not going to give it away, so I just drink it. So right now, what I'm putting in is I'm putting in numbers for the sales that we could potentially be doing. And then that way, it basically populates the amount of product that I'm going to need for the week. And then that's how I go about writing the order. It, it kind of does everything for you. You just essentially have to make sure that you input uh, the amount of sales that you want and kind of it's actually super simple but if done incorrectly it can be it can get messed up really really quickly Sintu brought me proper coffee it's very good. It's very tasty today. So I'm gonna drink it. It's very good. It's still hot. There's a king size mattress outside that was on the other side of the railing. Now because of the wind, it's on the opposite side. King size. Big work is a big mission, man. I'm trying to sneak out of here. I hear pages for me, people calling me, people trying to find me. I'm getting the fuck out of here. Even a day off is like almost six hours of work. No, she, I told her today. Don't worry about it. So I asked her to give me the hours for today so I could recap it to Thomas. I'll just recap Thomas tomorrow and tell her the girls are confused. <laughs> okay, buddy. Oh, look at how beautiful it is. Nice and sunny. Oh, 
leaving this place they're the same as me but honestly anything that puts my mind at ease i'll go out of my way to do and honestly coming in for five or six hours today as much as it sucks is going to put my mind at ease i don't even know what to do jess is working all day today and she worked late last night and i don't really want to go home and bother her maybe i'll go by and see my mom see what's going on over there plus i told her yesterday i actually asked her if she wanted food i don't even know why i didn't just grab it from my store been easier whatever what are you gonna do i'll go stop by and see my mom i did come and see my mom i ain't get her no food yet i ain't get her no food man i didn't want to stop man i just i was rolling man i'm like yo i'm just gonna go straight there they got our work phones and i'm telling you man i love it i love it man even though like i'm big on like not doing work when you're not at work i'm telling you man like right now i just got an email for a cfo and i could do that cfo while i see it and chat with my mom so because it's i get to do it in like my own environment it doesn't feel as irritating because when i want to stop doing it i can stop doing it i guess it's easier to do anything when you're in like a relaxing state of mind or place right when you're forced to do it and you're like oh maybe you have to stay an extra hour or half an hour to do it that's when that shit gets irritating i remember if i ever need to use the bathroom not to come to my mom's house there's still a little bit of a puzzle going here what is it oh that's like uh that's like amsterdam that's yeah, pretty cool i'm not much of a puzzle goer myself I don't have, I have the staying power, the patience. She's doing pretty good though so far. So I woke up to the absolutely crappy news that we're going back into full on lockdown. The government feels like this is the decision that's gonna work best for everybody. I still stand by the fact that, that we should have been able to make this work, but now that theory has been proven to be very incorrect. So I don't know what the lockdown means for most of you guys, but I know for me, my business is still open. So I'm still gonna be going to work every day. The only thing actually that comes out of this is we actually stopped kind of controlling traffic in our business and i thought that was super insane i thought it was always it should have always been a priority like we can't just let people kind of free flow in so now with the tighter restrictions as of monday and obviously you know for us our weekend business is our busiest time and it's probably going to be magnified by like a hundred percent given the ruling this evening so i'm actually looking forward to you know going back to lighter crowds in the store just allowing for that ability to move freely and not have to worry about somebody constantly like riding your back. You know, we all know grocery stores are super small. They're kind of hard to navigate when they're crowded. So this is one of the positives like I'm trying to take out of this scenario. Another Friday at Lloyd's. Again, I got that issue with my nose where it's like all super dry. It's the painful time of year. It's Christmas. Boogers in every hole. Oh. That is hot, but it looks so delicious. It smells so good. saw this place me and just decided we tried so that's salted caramel that's birthday cake and that's funnel cake it's gonna be good i hope so i don't know about you guys but being a passenger is so exhausting oh, i fell asleep on the way there i fell asleep on the way back fuck i'm waiting to try these donuts from the dapper donut and just needed eggs like eggs go with every meal that just makes so she burned through like a dozen eggs in like three days so she wanted to go get some the wait to try these donuts oh man they smell so good <laughs> here's a closer look for you guys how good do those look man i'm gonna try the salted caramel too oh my god it's like soft and oh wow I fall asleep and fall asleep. Yeah. Oh You've done a little less. All right, donut number two, birthday cake. Better. Honestly, the first donut was really good. It's just the salt. There's still some aftertaste from the salt. But what do you think of the donut? The donut's super nice. It's still soft and we bought it like 40 minutes ago. The birthday cake one is much better than the first one. All right, so to kind of recap the day or the last couple days, the donuts, I personally thought they were good. There's just a few things I would change. Like the funnel cake one, I would have put more icing sugar, less jelly. The salted caramel, I would have put very little salt at best. So that the caramel flavor with the nice hot warm donuts stood out. 
But all in all, I would recommend the place go check them out. And they have an enormous selection of donuts. I just happened to pick, you know, what appealed to me at the time. If I could go back or next time I visit there, I'll, you know, maybe get the cookies and cream one, just a simple glaze one. The salt from the caramel one that I tried first was like lingering when I tried the second one. Hopefully you guys enjoy the video. I haven't vlogged for like a week and a half. So some of the content on this video is older. Some of it's from the last couple of days. All in all, hopefully you guys enjoy the video and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.